Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 amazing things that your iPhone can do in 2022 and you probably didn't even know about. Now, before we get into all that, I will show you guys another amazing thing that you can do right now with your iPhone and that's tapping the subscribe button on this channel. That really, really helps a lot and most of you guys that actually watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure you do that. That's really, really helpful. And now let's get started with the first thing that your iPhone can do and you probably never knew about and that is is showing results from the lock screen. The iPhones are really, really smart. So let's say you have your device locked or someone gets your device and of course tries to search something. You can see you have access to the spotlight search with the device locked. But if I go ahead and try to search for something, you can see right here, I can just search for test in this case and you can see what it shows. Only like web results and some apps, but right here you can see it says unlock to see all results. So things like your notes, maybe your photos, your contacts and all that will actually be locked. Even though you have access to the spotlight search, you won't have access to the things that are on the iPhone. You need your iPhone to be unlocked to do that. And you can of course tap right there and then go ahead and unlock your iPhone with face ID or of course using the passcode. Now this right here is pretty useful. You have your iPhone on your hand and you're on an app like maybe Instagram or TikTok or whatever that is that you need to swipe up like this to change videos. You don't have actually to reach for the screen. You can just tap right here on the back of your iPhone to do that. You can see how good that works. It will swipe and go of course to the next video. Now the way to do that is enable a feature from back tap. You probably know about back tap. So you go under accessibility and from here go to touch and then go to back tap and right here you will actually find a gesture that is right down here. So you can see you have scroll down or scroll up. So you can basically set this up to be double tap on scroll down and double triple tap maybe on scroll up and then you can use the tap the back tap feature to actually switch between videos without you having to actually reach for the screen at all. This right here is an amazing iOS feature. Now, if you have two iPhones maybe, or you have an iPad and an iPhone or an iPhone and a MacBook, did you know that you can actually do this? Of course, as long as you're on the same iCloud account, what you can do is just copy one thing on one iPhone, and then I can go ahead and actually paste it right here. Now, this will work with things like maybe photos, or any text or any file that you want to copy to the other, other device. You can see how easy it is. Just go ahead and copy anything on your device. You can just go ahead and immediately paste it on the other device without having to actually send it or airdrop it or anything like that. As you could see right there in a couple of seconds, I had that picture from the camera roll of this iPhone 7 right here, right into the notes app on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Do you know that on your iPhone, you can turn any of your emails into a PDF file? So anytime you need to save an email as a PDF file, you can do that from the stock mail app of iOS. You probably have searched around and didn't find any option to do that. Well, there's a trick that will let you actually do that. Now, the first thing you want to do is, of course, open the email which you want to convert into a PDF file. Tap the share button right there and then go to print tap on print and it will show you right here a preview of the print where you can of course print this email and you will see the pages right here now you can choose to select any of them basically just choose which pages you want to turn into pdf and you will have the orientation there as well now what you need to do to turn this into a pdf file is just tap on one of the pages like that 3d touch and open that page and now once the page is open you can see we have actually five pages here of the email now what you need to do is just tap on that share button and you can tap on save to files this will actually allow you to save this to files and will be saved as a PDF file. Just tap save right there and you're good to go. Now you have an email turned into a PDF file without needing to install any third party app or anything straight from the mail app of your iOS device. One cool thing about the files app on iOS is that it is getting updated every time with new features and it actually has a lot of hidden features. And one of them is a feature that allows to search for files based on the type of file. So I can search for 
png right here and you can see it will show me the png images just like that i don't have to search for like a certain name of the file i just search for png or i can search for my pdfs just like that search for pdf document and it will show me all the pdf documents that i have on my device that's how easy it is to find the right types of files that you need to find on your files app just type basically the type of the file and you will get all the results right there now, pretty cool thing with iOS 15 is, of course, the drag and drop feature that Apple has implemented throughout iOS 15. And one really cool thing that you can do when trying to send a screenshot maybe to someone or just, let's say, add a screenshot to your notes or an email or stuff like that, you don't actually have to even save the screenshot. I can just take a screenshot right here and you can see the preview of the screenshot. I can now just drag it and just drop it right here on this note. As easy as that. I don't have to bother going to the photos app or things like that i can drag this screenshot from here and i can go ahead and send it maybe on a message just like that make sure you go ahead and drag it and just place it right there and you're good to go you can go ahead and save that screenshot into the files app or maybe send it on an email or an iMessage anywhere you want simply take the screenshot and drag it anywhere you need now with the release of app library apple has made it a bit harder to actually delete apps from your device and of course having apps on app library that is really hard to actually find the apps that you want to delete but if you just go ahead and try to delete one of the apps from your home screen you can see i can tap right there the minus button and i will get this pop-up first of all asking me if i want to delete the app or completely delete it remove it from the home screen and all that and of course you have a bunch of files a bunch of actually apps that you don't even have on your home screen now the easiest way to delete apps is by going to app library and go to the search section right here right here we'll get a complete list of all the apps that you have on your device and of course this is the easiest way to actually delete them all you gotta do is just three to touch on the icon right here so just press and hold on the icon and you can delete the app right away as easy as that this is the easiest way for you to delete any app you want on ios 15. You probably know about this feature that Apple actually has added to iOS a while ago, which lets you take a full page screenshot on web pages. So if I just go to the screenshot right here, you can see we have screen and then we have full page. Now you can see this right here. When you go to just the screen mode right there, it will show you the tool here to crop the screenshot. But when you go to the full page, you will have the full page right here and of course you can drag this to take a look at the screenshot but if you tap right there now you can actually even crop that screenshot so you can see that part right there i don't want that on my screenshot which actually will be saved as a pdf file so i can go ahead and drag this and that will let me crop this web page of course once i take a screenshot of it tap done and now we have the crop version right here we're good to go and all we have to do now is save it under the files app now with iOS 15, Apple has added a lot of new features to the iMessage app and the ability to actually easier find all the media, all the files that someone has sent you through an iMessage. Now there is a really cool new feature right here if you tap on the contact name right there and you will see all the photos that you got from that certain contact. But what you can do here is tap on see all and of course we all get a lot of screenshots on iMessage and anywhere on social media. Now you will have right there a tab that will let you switch just to the screenshot that you have received. So you can see we have all here, we have photos and then you will have all the screenshots right there in one place. So you don't have to bother looking through all the different photos that someone has sent you. You can go right into the screenshots. And last but not least, another really useful iMessage feature. Anytime someone sends you a date on my iMessage, a date and a certain time where you need to be like at an event or something like that, what you can do is actually just 3D touch on it and it will allow you to create a reminder for that date and time or create an event on your calendar. Very, very easy. You can also show in calendar here to see if you have any other events for that date, but you can just tap right there and it will take you straight to the calendar app and let you create an event for that date that you have received on iMessage. So that's basically for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and more hidden and awesome iPhone tricks and features. Now we'll see you guys on the next one.